In today's Student Life Diary, we are going to classes, eating lots of food, going on dates, and doing lots and lots more. We are a couple. I started to incorporate these small habits that help me jumpstart the morning, especially when I'm feeling extra tired. Some sunlight and quick movement literally makes all the difference and sets me in a much better mood. Good morning! Guys, the struggle of waking up without being able to see is a different type of struggle. I honestly don't really like putting my contacts in early in the morning because it burns so badly. Today is an amazing day. It is the last day before spring break. On top of that, we just have a great vibe today. This is my third day taking these collagen supplements. I never took these because they were always like hidden away in a cabinet. But ever since I put them on my dresser, it reminded me to take them every single day. Right now, I'm writing out positive affirmations on something that I literally look at every single day. Doing this has really made changes in the way that I think about myself. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel a lot more confident and just overall grateful for everything surrounding me. I fully thought that two of my classes were going to be online today. But my 10 a.m. is actually in person, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. It is 8.45 and I'm going to make myself some quick breakfast. I also have a class, a French class, at 9 a.m., which I'm very nervous about because I don't speak French. I would say this tastes delicious, but I would be left. This has coconut, apple, orange, pineapple. Kind of a weird pairing. In the mornings, I like to have an energizing drink, but I don't like to take like energy drinks. I used to drink Celsius and maybe like a matcha in the morning, but I really try to push that more towards the middle of the day if I even need it. Unfortunately, I missed my 9 a.m. class because I got the time zone wrong, but luckily I was able to reschedule my class for another date and time. Langota offers live online classes 24-7 by professional teachers. They teach four languages, English, German, French, and Spanish, as well as business, English, and small group and private one-on-one -on -one classes. Basically, they're giving both flexibility and quality. Four, one, four, got. God. Booking classes is just as simple as clicking on book a class and scheduling yourself for a time that fits best. Part of Lingoda is the language sprint and super sprint. In this, students must attend one class every day for the super sprint or every other day for the regular sprint for 60 days. They attend all classes and follow a few other simple sprint rules. They can receive 50% cash back if they took the sprint or 100% cash back if they took the super sprint. Cash back is paid at the end of the two month challenge where the students can choose between receiving the money back to their account or receiving lingo to class credit if you guys also didn't know i do speak spanish yo hablo espanol si una razón que quería tomar clases con lingoda es porque quería mejorar mi español a lot of people who spanish is their first language i have a hard time keeping up and i find i like really stumble in my words if you ever feel like that is you but you would love to perfect it you think you just need more practice with other people a teacher then i think lingoda is a great option for you hopefully i can get to the point where i am trilingual having the ability to even speak more than one is such a gift it it definitely is a value and an asset to your life so i do want to thank lingo for sponsoring today's video make sure to click the link below for more information and use my code 2023 Michaela for 20 euros or 25 dollars off your sprint registration i have to head out soon for a class so we're gonna throw in a little bit of makeup we'll see how today's makeup turns out everything that i've been using lately has just been going on flaky and separated it just looks like i have like cracked 
skin. Ever since I started using retinol, my skin has been a lot more red in these areas. My skin's also been a lot more dry. Every time I would even apply a moisturizer or like sunscreen, my skin was burning and it was so agitating because I've never really experienced anything like this. Do you plan to still use retinol, you know, for the purposes of hopefully not having wrinkles in the future? I heard that you have to go through something called purging, which basically means like your skin breaks out before it can get better. That sounds terrifying. I will give you guys an update on that because I feel like a lot of people are probably getting into retinoids now given there are so many benefits. So you might be also experiencing this and maybe we can go through it together. We're gonna be late because of you. First day of school. We are couple goals. This is our hard launch at school. <laughs> I got a pin in a free sandwich! <laughs> not have slept through my 1 p.m. class. I'm looking on TikTok for places to go to study. I do have a few things that I want to finish. That way I can enjoy the weekend and also not stress during spring break. I'm gonna look this cool down. A few things we have to do. I have a missing assignment that I need to complete. I do have a few essays that are due in May, but I kind of want to have like an idea of what I want to do for those. I have a reflection that's due tomorrow and an assignment due on Sunday. almost done with this assignment. I want to give a huge shout out to myself. I used to tell myself that I was not a good writer. I would label myself as that. I will say it wasn't that good back then. But looking at it now, I feel like I have come such a long way when it comes to my writing. I feel more confident. Like everything just flows and I can sit there and write an essay without having brain fog, like not even knowing where to start and what to write. I will say ever since I started using Grammarly, I think my writing has gotten better. Right now, I want you guys to think of something that you have been improving on even if it's like small little strides Maybe you've noticed you've really been attaining a skill a lot better. If it's a sport. If it's a hobby I want you guys to recognize that right now. Give yourself a pat on the back Think about how far you've come since like a year You probably don't recognize it because you are constantly with yourself every day You're probably more hard on yourself, but I can tell you now you are not the same person that you were last year We are constantly making progress as humans we are growing. I think I myself forget how much I've grown as a person and I love it. I find it to be a beautiful thing. Last year, school was up in the air for me. I didn't even know if I was going to go back to school. I was in business and I did not find myself going to classes, trying my best. Now I am hoping I get straight A's. That is the goal and that's so far what it's going to look like. I'm proud of myself. I feel like I can keep leveling up. Even if you have like a setback, you can only really go up from there. Anyways, I'm really hungry right now. I have been thinking about warm ramen this whole time. Giselle and I headed out to the source, an Asian mall filled with delicious places to eat and cute stores to shop at. We were on the hunt for these Korean corn dogs, which luckily we found here. And this place had an assortment of options from hot Cheeto corn dogs to sweet potato corn dogs filled with mozzarella, which sounded delicious to us. So this is the option we ended up choosing. This is so good. We're getting another one, but with the sausage inside. Huh. Mm -hmm. This is actually kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Is this a fit? Mm -hmm. This is a 
ginger clay mask. This is an ugly potato mask. It's such a pretty color. Do you recommend the tonkatsu spicy black or the miso? I prefer the black because it has garlic oil. Can we do that one? Is it really spicy? Okay. If you guys can eat hot Cheetos, you guys are fine. Okay, yeah. Milk cotton black and white face. Smile baking for the picture. Parents waiting in the driveway. This morning my gym session mostly consisted of stretching out my calves because they were so tense when I tell you that for the next few days my calves hurt so much that I couldn't walk properly. Ooh. I'm so happy because the makeup turned out amazing today. I have been struggling to get a good base for the past week. I think it's a combination of the moisturizer that I used today. I picked up the one by Kozar X and it feels amazing on the skin. If you guys are looking up close, there's nothing like no cracks, no dry patches. It looks flawless. Ernie is here because we are going to breakfast to celebrate 10 months Aww. together. This is also the foundation brush that I use. It's from Amazon and I will give it a look. Give it a flower tour. Right? For breakfast, we ended up going to a place called Lola's by MFK. Mm, has like a, like a wand in it. Which is a Filipino fusion restaurant. If you guys didn't know, I am Filipino, so this was definitely a meal to enjoy. On top of that, I ordered these delicious ube that are such as French toast, and normally I'm not one to finish a sweet dish, but I devoured this one. <laughs> I'm popping in here really quick just to give you a little bit of context of what this next few clips are gonna look like. You are gonna see I ended up hanging out with someone that you guys probably know. I ended up driving to Santa Monica because that's where we're going to meet. We went shopping and had breakfast. So that's basically some context for what's about to happen. <laughs> so cute but like it's like really tight on my arms it has been quite the past few days delicious past few days as it consisted of so much food tasting just yesterday i met up with adela who is a youtuber here she's so talented and beautiful i was definitely stepping out of my comfort zone doing this one because driving in la is freaking insane so stressful and i almost got into like four crashes i am someone who can be talkative but i think i get nervous like there's a lot of built up nerve coming into like going in and meeting someone that you've never known i was definitely proud of myself because we were talking about hanging out for the past few weeks and we finally made it happen. This year I really want to make more friends and reach out to people that I talk to on social media but like we've never met in person. Obviously you guys saw I did go to Brandy. I did pick up the top that I'm wearing. I picked up this gray long sleeve. It's kind of like waffle material and then this little baby key with little hearts on it as if the color isn't already really pretty. And then I got a few things from Amazon. I picked up this little brush set. Look at the color. I'm obsessed. This is like a whole brush set filled with ones you can do your face with. Contour, blush, lots of like eye and makeup brushes as well. This one I'm excited about because it's like kind of like a round buffing brush so I can use it for concealer. A little duo fiber brush also for blush or contour. What I'm definitely most obsessed with are these, are the pink handles. I think they are the most beautiful baby doll color. I've recently just been into taking my time with my makeup, experimenting. We also got this giant box. He has a few goodies for the desk. Starting off, we got this matte with which looks like it's going to be massive. As you guys know me, I'm constantly looking to switch up things, be in a different environment. I don't ever mind either buying new things or kind of just like interchanging my space with old things that I have. I won't ever buy like too many things.
I ended up getting this matcha keycap set from Amazon. So we're going to be switching out the keycaps on my white keyboard with these beautiful new pretty green ones. This is what the desk looks like with the new mat. I actually didn't really like the mat at first because I thought it was too big. I don't know, it's just like very out there, but, but I think it's starting to slowly grow on me. But the keyboard is what looks freaking stunning. It's literally such a beautiful color. Green is one of my favorite colors, though. I feel like there's all mixes of greens on this table right now. I conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I feel like this video was a great depiction of what my life is really like. One moment I could have an exam and then the next I'm like, like going out and hanging out with friends. A little advice for you guys, if you guys are in college, don't forget to explore, find new things, meet new people, have a blast. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Hugs and kisses. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.